Hello, ladies. My name is Angela, if you don't know me yet. And thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel at Angela Simpson Functional Medicine. And I always look forward to bringing you topics of interest if you are a female between approximately the ages of 35 and 55. This is a time period of life where females are having shifts and changes to their female sex hormones. And with this, there can be many different symptoms that do come up. And I want to be able to help you understand where these symptoms could be coming from and also what you can do about it. I do really believe that there are always ways to help you rebalance your health and wellness. The key is first to understand where your symptoms are coming from, and then you can make some informed decisions about what you want to do to help get the rebalancing process put in place. So today I want to talk to you about something that I think we're all affected by in the world we live in today, and that is stress. And often stress is chronic. And for many women, they don't necessarily understand the impact that stress could be having on their bodies, and especially their hormone health and wellness. I know for many women that I do speak with, they do tell me that they are under quite a bit of stress. And there is often a close link for many women, even though they may or may not realize it, with an increase in their weight. So many women that I work with tell me that they have tried every different exercise plan, every different diet, they've done calorie restriction, intermittent fasting, no matter what they do, they can't seem to lose the weight that they're hoping for. And they do notice that as they're getting older every single year, that they're getting gradually more and more weight gain, especially around the belly, that kind of midlife weight gain, that midlife extra spare tire. Many women aren't very happy about this. They say, I'm not doing anything different than I used to do. I'm maintaining the same type of diet and lifestyle. I'm relatively healthy with what I'm doing in my everyday life, or so I think I am. Why am I gaining this weight, especially around my belly? And again, this is something that is determined right away but I see this all the time in my practice because I'm working with lab testing. And very commonly, the link is imbalances in cortisol. Cortisol is our primary stress hormone. And when we do produce cortisol, it's okay. This is a normal response to stress in our bodies. But if we're under stress all the time, and there's really no relenting from this, the cortisol response can get out of balance and we can start producing too much. And as we produce too much, what often will happen is our metabolism starts to slow down. So when we produce cortisol, what actually happens, the physiological response is the blood in our bodies, instead of being focused mostly around our trunk and our organ systems, it starts to move out towards our extremities. And again, this is more of a primitive response of the brain, but the body says, I've got to get away from this fear or something that is going to put me under threat, so I better run away from it. And so what happens over time is if we are having this constant stress response is we're actually not getting enough nourishment to our organ systems and our digestive system and our metabolic health, everything starts to just slow down. So it doesn't necessarily matter what you're eating, how much you're exercising. If the body and the brain are communicating this high stress response, your metabolism is going to slow and therefore the weight is going to come on. And for most females, this weight does start to concentrate around the midline. And there are other reasons for that too, are changing female sex hormones, the decline in estrogen and progesterone, our main female sex hormones. It actually also unfortunately does cause our blood sugars and our insulin to start to rise a little bit as those sex hormones decline. So insulin in particular, as it starts to get a little bit higher, actually causes weight gain around the midline. So there's this combination of effects that is happening. There's the high stress response. There's the changes to our female sex hormones. And it really can result in this weight loss resistance, this feeling of being stuck and trapped in kind of this high stress pattern. You may feel anxious. You may not be sleeping that well. You may feel like you're just really tipped upside down from the apple cart from what it once was. And you're wondering why. So I just want to let you know that once you start to understand these connections in the body, there is a way to learn how to get the balance back. So of course, there's stress management techniques. There's things that we can do in our everyday life to try and lower our stress, become more resilient to our stress, have, again, better buffering responses, things like meditation, yoga, consistent exercise, but not necessarily over-exercising, exercising like crazy. We can also make adjustments to our diet that actually helps us to maintain and balance our cortisol levels, even in the face of high or consistent stress. But often we need to even dig deeper than this. And so this is where someone like myself comes in and does the proper lab testing to help you first understand where your cortisol levels are at throughout the day. So there is a way for us to check on this. There is a typical pattern of the way cortisol levels should rise and fall throughout the day. So we can check on lab testing to see if this is happening for you or not. 
And then we also typically need to be checking what's happening with your female sex hormone levels and also your blood sugar and insulin levels. And with this, we can start to really understand the root cause of why you could be feeling how you're feeling and why the cortisol levels and your stress and your weight is out of balance. And from there, I can put a plan in place to help you customize a healing strategy to get that belly fat off, get you feeling more energetic, get you sleeping better, and really get you feeling like your best self. So if this does sound potentially like you, if you have been struggling with belly fat, possibly that stress that's high that you may not have connected to the increase in your weight or that weight loss resistance, and you've tried everything, you've tried dieting, you've tried exercise, extreme intermittent fasting, you feel like none of it's worked or lasted, please feel free to reach out to me because I am happy to, again, help you understand the connections with your individual health, your body, and also to understand if you are at a place where you should do the proper lab testing to look at your cortisol levels, your insulin levels, and your female sex hormones, and really help you develop a plan to start rebalancing this so you can start to feel like your best self again. Many women that I've worked with, once we've started to understand and establish this connection of what's going wrong and why, have lost up to 20 to 30 pounds in as little as six weeks and they've been able to keep it off. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. You can go to my website. That's one way to connect with me, www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca. There is a place there for you to book an initial discovery call for us to understand if it could be a good fit for us to work together. You also can send me a message there. There's a contact link on my website. You also, if you haven't already, can go to my Facebook group and you can ask to join. It's called Functional Medicine for Hormone Imbalances. And you can also connect with me that way through Facebook or send me a DM. So there's lots of ways to connect and also through YouTube here, you can send me a message anytime. And I look forward to being in contact with you. If you do feel like you may be ready to take the next steps to get off that belly fat, get yourself sleeping better, just get yourself feeling more like your best version of yourself again. Thanks again for watching. And I really look forward to bringing you more topics on my YouTube channel soon to help you rebalance your hormone health and wellness, both now and for the long term. Okay. Bye for now.